Hi, this is Rick. There's a new script I've just finished called Russ Heli Repair. And as the name implies, this is for repairing helicopters. To get this to work, you need to put down a helipad and you need to put down two units, a, a repair guy and a waving guy. The waving guy will use light sticks to wave you in, red or light sticks, and when you land, he'll indicate that you've landed. Um, both of them need to have red jackets. The reason for this is that I spawn a red light inside the jacket to make them stand out at night. I've deliberately not made this too dark so that you can see everything uh, and see the lighting, lighting effects at the same time. Um, the important thing is that these two guys need to be at least 20 meters away from the helipad. And the reason for that is to ensure that when the heli helicopter comes into land, uh, if you, particularly if you're flying a large helicopter, the center of the helicopter always needs to be more or less uh, on the center of the helipad. And this large square helipad actually works the best, uh, especially with all, basically for all helicopters. Um, the key thing is you place these two guys uh, apart from each other. One is slightly, this guy slightly ahead of the waving guy. Uh, because he's going to path automatically around the side here and he's going to come and walk into the chopper and repair it. Uh, and then once he's finished, you'll go back to this position. If you position these guys too close, the script will automatically move them back to until they're 20 meters. They'll, it'll keep their current relative position, but just move them back 20, to 20 meters. And now, if you want to dress it up, you can put little red lights on the corner of the, of the pad, which makes it easier to see when you're approaching it. You can approach the helipad from any direction, but obviously it would be ideal if you could come in from more or less sort of a 90, de 90 degree uh, arc from that waving guy. So you can actually see him. He'll face you, but if you're obviously flying in from this direction, uh, when you get to this point and you're landing, you won't be able to see him telling you that, you, that you've you know, touched down. Not that you probably won't realize, but it's kind of cool to see him do his thing. Um, you need to land more or less within sort of five meters of the center position of the helipad. So the center of the chopper needs to be kind of within five meters of the center. If you don't land within five meters, it'll tell you you need to be a little bit closer. If you land within that radius, it'll automatically move the chopper into a center position once it's landed. Um, now there's an op optional uh, thing that you can have, and that is the automatic refueling system. When uh, the script starts to work, um, it will spawn in a, a fuel truck over here, facing in the in this case an easterly direction, and a fuel pipe will automatically spawn out of the back of the uh, the fuel truck and go and connect up to the back of the chopper. And then you'll hear fuel running, and you'll see a, an indicator telling you how uh, much fuel the helicopter's got and how much to go, uh, how much is still to be filled. Um, as I said, uh, and when he and when we put the fuel truck, when the fuel truck is spawned in, next to it there will be a guy standing over here with a purple jacket, and a an, and a white light inside his jacket, so you can see him uh, in the dark. Um, there are a couple of ambient lights over here, but um, these little red lights you can you can position them on the corner. It makes it easier to spot from a distance, as I mentioned. Uh, it'll also spawn in a center light, which will rotate. Uh, just to indicate that this is currently busy. So if another chop is coming in to, to, to be refueled or repaired, uh, you can be either, you, even if your vehicle's not damaged and you, but you need fuel, you can come land in and they'll wave you in. If you're not damaged and you don't need fuel, they won't wave you in. So you, you won't get clearance to land either. And one of the important things you need to bear in mind is that uh, most of this you can see is set dressing. But this vehicle over here, a support vehicle, this is an, this is a, an ammo vehicle. This will automatically uh, rearm your vehicle or your helicopter, I should say, if it is an attack chopper. Um, there are no animations for rearming. So um, this, this would be a, a viable thing. But if you put a fuel track down as well as a, uh, an, an, in other words, you're using a separate fuel track or a repair track, it's not a good idea to uh, put them down too close because they will otherwise they'll refuel and repair the 
helicopter without any help from the repair unit so it kind of defeats the entire point of the script and also defeats the point of my youtube video which is really de depressing and, and and sad so if you do put down additional vehicles here just to um, add ambience to the process uh to to this area then deactivate the simulation on those vehicles so they don't automatically repair and refuel you um as I said, the ammo truck. Obviously, you don't need to put a um, you don't you don't need to disable the uh, simulation on that. So the re the waving guy will turn and face you as you come in, and they will be he will be triggered at around 50 meters away, and you'll get clearance to land. So I'm going to show you how this works. Um, as I said, I kept this fairly light so the so that you can actually see it. I don't want to make it too dark. Now this works with all helicopters in the vanilla armor 3 all the dlcs as well as all the rhs choppers on both sides or on all sides um, so i'm going to spawn in and in this chopper over here and damage it and then fly in and show you how it works okay so i need to damage it and the simple way method would be just to use this advanced uh, or enhanced debug console which is cba um so i've got heli equals vehicle player and then i reference heli and i use this little script repeatedly to hit the various hit parts on the chopper so in this case hit class one two three hull engine okay hull duplicated fuel uh, avionics and winch and so on and at the end i take I give it only 20% fuel. So the way to find out what the hit points are, you can put down get all hit point damage, vehicle players. It's an array of arrays. So select zero will bring the first array of hit points. So hit hull, hit fuel, hit engine, avionics, and so on. Now some choppers have a lot of hit points. So this one I think has got around, I don't know, something like 37 or 38 hit points. Okay, it's got it's got 37 hit points. So let's say this helicopter sustained uh, global damage on all hit points. So 37 dam. Let's say you you did a vehicle player set damage uh, 0 0.5. So every single one of the 37 hit points would have a 50% damage. So it's obviously going to take the repair a lot longer to repair 37 damage hit points than it is if you've only got in this case uh, whatever it is about 10 hit points with the duplicate so this will be a relatively quick repair and repairing the uh, refueling the uh, choppers um, maximum time from zero to uh, zero to 100 percent full only about uh, 15 or 20 seconds so uh, it's a, like a really cool animation you'll see the process so it's actually would be a pity to disable it because it took me a hell of a long time it's a super difficult process connecting up uh, a lot of pipes and then connecting them to the back of the chopper and connecting them to the the fuel track and um, uh, and taking into account the fact that the helicopter could be rotated in any one of 360 degrees from the center axis of the um, helipad uh, anyway it's your decision the key thing is that when he does do the repair, if it's dark, he will use the uh, a welding animation, complete with sparks and all sorts of nice little uh, uh, entertaining sort of visual effects. And if it's daytime, he will use a, a he'll kneel down and do a manual repair on the on the chopper. So you'll see two different types of uh, repair process. I'm only going to show you the nighttime one because that's kind of cool. A little bit more cooler than the the daytime one so i'm going to damage the chopper and um as i said that's like 10 hit points it'll be a qu fairly quick repair and uh the fuel will be then uh taken up from 20 percent to 100 percent so this script basically focuses um uh, concentrates on on vehicles that are coming in from about 50 to 100 meters away I'll show you how the script is enabled. You really just simply run a uh, run a script on the init uh, units in it. The two scripts, one for the wave in, one for the um, see the guy waving us in. You see their jackets are glowing red. I'm going to try and land. I'm going to try and land on the center position as close as I can. And it reset me to the center position. It tells me, please switch your engine off. 
he signals that you've landed and the engine's up and I'm gonna get out now. Along he comes with his sandwich box, puts down that, drops his uh, oxyacetylene torch, fires it up. And then I made this little particle effect for, for welding, which I think is pretty cool. Two little sparks on the floor. And that rotating yellow light is useful because the other helicopters coming in to land, they might uh, have to wait because they can see it's currently busy. At the top right it shows you what he's repairing currently, he's repairing glass and he's already finished. So that was really quick, he puts away his welding tool. The fuel pipe spawns in, connects up to the fuel track and to the back of the chopper. And it shows 72.8, 78.2, refueling, top right, 89, 94, 100. That's finished and now the pipe gets removed and goes back into the vehicle The vehicle has been repaired and refueled, sir. Okay, so that guy now will walk back to his original position, and this guy's got a white, um, a white light inside his jacket. So it tells you that your chopper is refueled, so now you can get in. And then he turns back and faces the original position. Now they're telling me to get out of the way because this, hip, this pad needs to be used by other people. So it says uh, your chopper does not need to be re repaired or refueled, so... Um, Get out the way, basically. So now let me just show you how you run the script. So you've got two scripts basically. There's one is um, the repair script and the other is the wave-in script. So you just click on this guy and you put this line into the init box of the object. So this exec VM, Rice Heli Repair Scripts, Rice Heli Repair.sqf. And this exec VM, Rice Heli Repair Scripts, Rice Wave -in .sqf. And that's it. So as I said, the only requirements are that you have a heli pad. As I said, the square one is the best one because it's bigger. And you can put little red lights on the corners. And um, ideally, you need to allow for the chopper to preferably approach from a specific direction. Don't put too, th too many th buildings or whatever uh, near it because you obviously got to bring in a chopper to land. You don't want to have to crash and kill everyone. Um, as I said, it spawns in everything else. You, all you need to do is put these two guys in, make sure they've got red jackets. Keep this area clear if you're going to use the refuel truck and the, and the fuel pipes. And don't put any um, support vehicles other than the ammo, ammo support vehicle. If you use other vehicles, then just disable their simulation if they are a repair or a fuel truck. And basically, that's it. So if you want to use a script in your mission, then uh, you have to jump through a couple of hoops if you don't mind. Uh, apologies for this. This is to stop sp spamming on the Steam Workshop. All you need to do is click like if you like this video. I really would appreciate it if you would because it does help me a lot. Uh, the other is um, to subscribe to the channel. Then the next thing you need to do and click the bell so you get notified when I release new scripts, which is quite regularly. Uh, and the other thing you need to do is just send me a friend request on Steam and then you can add access to all my missions and all the scripts I've written. Uh, you also get free help implementing the script on your mission. And if you need uh, scripts written, I'll help you as long as they're not going to take two days of my time. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this content and are new to this channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can get notified when we release new content. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.